Obviously, calorie requirements increase during pregnancy, but it's not quite as black and white as you might expect. For example, you don't need as many calories in your first trimester, when your baby's only the size of a plum, as you do in your third trimester. So in this short video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to calculate your calorie requirements for pregnancy. Stay tuned! Hello! If this is our first time connecting, welcome. My name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a fertility and prenatal dietitian. I help couples boost their fertility and give their babies the best start possible with the power of good food. Make sure that you connect with me on my socials. You'll find all the details in the description box below this video. So I'd like to start by saying thank you for watching this. The fact that you're watching this tells me that you're going to be an amazing mama and that you really care about the health of your bubba. You see, gaining the right amount of weight in pregnancy has a big impact on your pregnancy health and on the future health of your baby. Too little weight gain puts your baby at higher risk of malnutrition, being born at a low birth weight and of obesity later in life, as they often overcompensate and put on too much weight too quickly. Just like when you haven't eaten for hours and feel famished and eat more than you really need to. Too much weight gain, on the other hand, increases your risk of developing gestational diabetes and or preeclampsia. But most importantly, excessive weight gain during pregnancy significantly increases your baby's future risk of struggling with weight issues. Now, obviously, the more calories that are eaten, the more weight that you'll gain. And to make things even more confusing, the amount of weight that needs to be gained varies from woman to woman. On the positive side though, research shows that women who know what their weight gain target is have a much greater chance of achieving that weight gain than women who just eat whatever they want during pregnancy. Now to determine your pregnancy weight gain target, we start by looking at your preconception weight, which is your weight at the time that you conceived. If you are a healthy weight for your height, which is known as the healthy body mass index, then you're aiming for between 11 and a half to 16 kilograms, which is 25 to 35 pounds of total weight gain throughout your pregnancy. Now, ideally you won't gain more than about two kilos or four and a half pounds during your first trimester. Then you'll gain approximately 300 grams, which is 10 ounces per week during your second and third trimesters. Now, if this is your goal, during your first trimester, you won't need to increase your calorie requirements at all, as weight gain during your first trimester should be predominantly fluid stores and not fat. Then aim for around 350 calories or 1400 kilojoules on top of what you normally eat during your second trimester and around 450 calories, which is around 1800 kilojoules on top of what you normally eat during your third trimester. Now, I know that it sounds like a lot, but in reality, it's only an additional cup and a half of cooked brown rice each day. So be careful that you don't get misled by people telling you that you're eating for two. Now, in general, most women who had a healthy preconception pregnancy weight should expect to be eating around 2,200 to 2,900 kilocalories, which is around 9,000 to 12,000 kilojoules each day during pregnancy. However, this is just a general goal. And if you're undertaking either a lot of physical activity, if you're really short or really tall, if you've got a high metabolism or a really slow metabolism, if you're having multiples, a whole range of other things as well, your requirements can change. And to be honest, it's best to get personalized advice from a prenatal dietitian. Now, if you are higher than your healthiest weight when you conceived, your pregnancy weight gain goals will be less than this. So consequently, you'll probably require less kilojoules during pregnancy and vice versa. If your weight was lower than ideal when you conceived, you'll need to aim for additional weight gain during your pregnancy by boosting your calorie intake. Now during pregnancy, many women crave carbs and in fact, they should be the primary source of most of your added calories. Ensure that you're choosing healthy whole grain carbs though, such as oats or 
corn on the cob is a good one too. Now to help you optimize your pregnancy eating, I've created a 2000 calorie, which is 9000 kilojoule, pregnancy meal plan, which you can download free of charge from melaniemcgrice.com slash pregnancy. Now, if you need to, you can just add or take away some food to adjust the calories. Or if you prefer a personally tailored meal plan, feel free to contact my receptionist to book a consultation. Now, one last thing, although your calorie intake is a helpful tool during pregnancy, I don't want you to become obsessed. Your body will go through a lot of changes during pregnancy and every woman is unique. So promise me that you won't weigh yourself more than once a week, maximum. And please put a much bigger focus on choosing nourishing foods rather than just counting calories. Now, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments box below, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Now let's just stop there and wait for the printing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.